The Ministry of Internal Affairs has again found itself in another Coach 22 financial scandal involving misappropriation of 27 billion shillings through fake procurements and payment of unauthorized utility bills. Answering queries raised in the Uta General's report 2010-2011 before the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament, Ministry of Internal Affairs Permanent Secretary declined to reveal the identity of the officer went behind his back and requisitioned over 27 billion shillings from Bank of Uganda for a fake procurement transaction. I will requisition the 27 billion. For example, I don't think it will help if I said that we did not requisition the 27 billion. No, you answer. Mr. If you say no, you say no, we shall investigate. Yes. But if you find that you are telling us lies, we shall hold you accountable. Honorable Chair, as uh, hopefully you know. How does he know? Hopefully. Who initiated? Correct. Exactly. <laughs> Honorable <laughs> Chair. Is <laughs> no, no, no. It's Doctor, it. Engineer, please, be yourself. <laughs> it is just a very simple question. If you say it was initiated by you, say so. If it was your minister, say so. If it was other sources, just indicate that then we got the whole story. No, but uh, I think you need the full explanation. Give us that, then we move forward, Mr. Pierce. No, I find it difficult to say that... Do you find it difficult because of the cameras around and that no, you want no, to confide no, in me? No, no, because this is why I wanted to tell the full story. I'm yes. sure the committee is 100% aware of how this procurement came No, out. no, no. You are, you are imputing wrong motives. The committee is not aware. Oh, my God. That's what I want to tell you. Yeah. That the committee is not aware. P.S. Kagoda pleaded that if allowed to narrate the story, the probing committee could, in one way or the other, understand who generated the requisition that is now a subject of investigation. However, his plea was objected on ground that it couldn't be supported with documented evidence. The Uta General's report also pointed out that Uganda Revenue Authority slapped a tax penalty of 1.2 billion shillings on Ministry of Internal Affairs accruing from the fake procurement. But the report indicated that the tax penalty was not supposed to be paid. Mr. Chairman, tell the piece that when we are laughing, we are actually managing stress Absolutely. which we are causing on us. <laughs> So we only laugh to manage our stress. To make sure at least we elongate our lives. Yes. Yes, sir. Otherwise, we will laugh. Otherwise, by now, we'll be more. Tell us how serious. much was the tax? How much was the penalty? What correspondences have what? you made? Yeah, we believe you are laughing at us because we are disorganized. <laughs> yeah, we are laughing at what you are saying. And this is why we are making a promise <laughs> to deliver the document. How much was for. the tax? Uh, Honorable Chair, I promise to deliver the documents. No, no. These no. documents we have already agreed on <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> today. Including this no, one. But, 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 but the questions that the lead council are, is asking are different. Yeah. The Auto General's report also disclosed that there was an erroneous cash pay of 1.7 billion shillings from Ministry of Internal Affairs bought on account to the Joint and Terrorism Unit. The money in question was not supposed to be paid to Jad since JAT operational funds are allocated under classified budget and the 1.7 billion shillings to JAT has never been accounted for. Timothy Sibasi, the Star Vision Parliament.